Jesus says, I am the true vine, and you are the branches. While my father is a vine dresser, cut off from me or apart from me, you can do nothing on your own, my dear children. Cut off from me, you can do nothing. Oh, cut off from me, I say you can do nothing on your own. Oh. Yes, so. Oh. I am the vine, you are the branches. I am the vine, you are the branches, my children. My father is a vine dresser. From the vine on its own, it can produce nothing. That is how our relationship with God is, as Jesus tells us in this Sunday, the fifth Sunday of Easter. Yes, so my children come down from me. You can do nothing, yes, apart from me. You can do nothing on your own. Oh. If you remain in me, and I remain in you, you will produce fruit, fruit for the kingdom of heaven. You will produce much fruits. I will supply you with blessings. I will supply you with life. I will supply you with riches and wealth. Oh, just remain in me, and you will see what I can do. Whenever you are suffering, oh, I will be with you when you are in sorrow, oh, yes, so, oh, yes, so. Oh. Do not depart from me, I'm always ready to help you every time you are in need in this life. Ah, ah, ah. Never you worry, oh, never you worry, because you are in me, I in you, you remain forever, you produce fruits, the fruit of love, the fruit of service, the fruit of kindness, the fruit of goodness, the fruit of good health, the fruit of everything you need me in your life. Yes, so I will supply for you, my children, just remain in me. Because I will remain in you forever, not only in this life, be united with me. You will never lack anything in, the, in this life. Yes, so. But cut down from me, you can do nothing. Yes, apart from me, you can do nothing in this life. Whether you are a rich man, whether you possess everything, all these things will become vanity, vanity in life. Yes! Che, 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 che. Yes, so. Cut out from me. You can do nothing on your own. Yes, I say. Cut out from me. You can do nothing on your own. Ah, oh yes, so oh. in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. 
Good day, my dear friends. Today is the first day of the month of May, the fifth month of the year. We continue to praise God who has led us into the new months. So I will use this opportunity, my dear friends, to wish all of you happy new months in the month of May. I would like to just reflect with you and pray with you. The readings we took last Sunday, the fifth Sunday of Easter, and he used them as a contact point to wish you a happy new month. That you remain with God all throughout this month, beginning from today, the first of this month. And remember today, the church has dedicated this day as St. Joseph, the worker. Praying for all the workers of the world, especially the workers in Nigeria, that they should continue to work hard despite all that they face in the midst of their work and sometimes they see nothing and they reap nothing in terms of the service they, they render to the states. Do not worry yourself because you have a good shepherd, a shepherd who is in heaven in the person of Saint Joseph, praying for you day by day that the good Lord will give you the strength to continue your work. Whatever you are working, I wish you a successful and a blessed hand that God should bless and make your hands a successful hands all throughout this month, beginning from today to the end of May, through Christ our Lord. Dear friends, remember the gospel of last Sunday. Jesus says in John Gospel chapter 15, from verse 1 to 8, I am the vine. In fact, he says and qualifies, I am the true vine. You are the branches. Jesus uses this expression oftentimes, letting us know that he is God when he uses the, the, the statement, I am. Remember in Exodus chapter 3, he has used this as the Father telling Moses, I am who I am. I am. He's sending you to Pharaoh. So in John Gospel, you will meet oftentimes Jesus uses the same expression, I am. In John 6, it tells us, I am the bread of life. In John 8 and John 9, he will always tell us that I am the light of the world. John 9 from verse 4 downward, I am the light that shines upon the darkness of the world. And in John Gospel chapter 10, as we read two Sundays ago, I am the good shepherd. I am the good shepherd, and you are my flock, the sheep. And in John Gospel chapter 11, he, he refers to himself as I am the resurrection and the life, telling Mary and Martha when he went and raised up their brother Lazarus, who was dead after four days of burial. I am the life, the life giving spirits, the life, I am the resurrection. In John Gospel chapter 14, the Lord says here, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And today in John Gospel chapter 15, I am the true vine. On and on, revealing himself as God, that with him, without him, we can do nothing. That is why he tells us today that we should remain in him. Abide in me, and I in you, you will produce fruits that will last. What are these fruits he's talking about? John, 1 John chapter 3 tells us that this one of the key fruits Jesus mentioned here is the, the fruit of love. He loves us so much and he wants want us to share in his life. He wants us to continue to remain with him, to continue to share the life-giving spirit, not just in this world and the world to come. During the resurrection, we shall share this life eternally with him in heaven. And so the Lord calls us to remain with him. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Sometimes we go about boasting our own personal achievement, our money, our possessions, our houses, our cars, our children, our this and that. If God has not given you, we will have gotten all those things. Do not make the mistake of that rich man in the Gospel of Luke, Gospel chapter 12. The man who was boasting, I have this, I have this, I don't know how to keep them again. And the Lord says, foolish man, you foolish man, you fool. This night, 
This life of yours will be taken away from you. So God is the one that gives us life. Whatever you have in this life belongs to him. Your life belongs to him. Your possession belongs to him. Everything we have belongs to him. All that we possess belongs to him. All that we have belongs to him. For without him, we can do nothing. That's why he says here, apart from me, you can do nothing. Stand on your own. Look at in the first reading of last Sunday, when you, you take the reading in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, from verse 26, when Saul discovered that the Lord Jesus has called him on his way to Damascus to distract and bring the Christian to book, sometimes lock them in prison because they were preaching the name of Jesus. The Lord Jesus arrested him on the way. And when Paul saw himself converted, assisted by Barnabas, his friend, who was to be his mentor in the rest of his pastoral activities, we see him seeking to be united to the church. He did not form his own church, as many of us today are doing. He has to be to abide in the Lord, in the church. The church is the body of Christ. And he has to belong in the community of believers. Because, because you cannot stand alone. For cut off from me, you can do nothing. And so we must remain in the community of believers. We must remain in the church to produce fruits, to the fruit of service, the fruit of love, the fruit of kindness, the fruit of goodness. This is what God wants us to produce in the community of believers, the church, the body of Christ. Don't be alone. Whatever gift you have, don't be deceived to go around forming your own church to stand on your own. Sometimes some churches or such body that goes out of the main body do not last. Dear friends, as this month has begun, I wish you not to stand alone. The Lord Jesus is with you. Be with him in prayer. Gather your families in prayer. Gather your community of believers in prayer. Thank God in this first day of the month of May, the church has given us our mother Mary to say our rosary, to honor Mary and Joseph, to praise God in Mary and Joseph who has played an important part in our salvation history. And so I bring to you the rosary, say it every day to praise Jesus in his ministries and the mysteries of the rosary. The activities of Christ are all brought up here in this prayer. When we say the rosary, we praise Jesus Christ, we glorify his name, and thank Mary for allowing us to pass through Jesus. The rosary is a powerful weapon against the enemy, the devil. When you say it every time, the Lord will protect you against the powers of this world, the powers of the enemy. Say it daily, join the community of believers to say the rosary on the days of our lives. And I can assure you, our mother Mary will always intercede for us. All I wish you in this month, have a blessed month, the month of prayer, the month of the Holy Rosary. The good Lord will bless you in all your endeavors. This is the hardship we are passing out through in our country, Nigeria. And Mother Mary is praying for us that one day God will rescue us, God will deliver us, if only we remain with Him all the days of our lives. Your family will be blessed, your community will be blessed, your church will be blessed, your household will be blessed. Every of your thing, your office, wherever you find yourself, your farms, your business, your markets, everything about you will be blessed because you have given yourself to Jesus and you remain with him. For cut off from me, you can't do nothing. Just like a branch, a branch out of a tree will remain a branch and it will soon dry up like firewood that people with men will come and make it a firewood to be burned in fire. Don't be alone. Come, let us join together and be with our Lord Jesus. Share with me in this powerful message and in this chorus I want to bring with you. For cut off from me, you can do nothing. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we thank you for this month of May, a month of devotion. As we have started with St. Joseph and our mother Mary with the Holy Rosary, 
bless the entire month for my people, for your children. Help us to remain with you and not to cut us away from you. Bless them abundantly and heal those who are sick all throughout this month as we say our rosary. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Join me and praise the Lord with this chorus. <laughs>